Is it good, Bug? <laughs> you like beans and cheese? It's Jamila. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm just going to be doing a crock pot meal. I decided to do some black beans in the crock pot with some chicken and my spices. I got my water, onion, and if you're interested, keep on. Uh, here's my sous chefs right here. We <laughs> it's early in the morning. Hi. Hi, you two. How do you do? <laughs> okay, so my black beans are dried beans. I soaked these overnight, um, actually in this bowl, so they would get soft, so I could cook them. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, I'm doing these one-handed. I'm gonna add these to my crock pot. You wanna see? See? They're still hard. And we gotta cook them for a couple hours. Mm. Yeah. They're super high. Okay, so I got those in and I'm doing it on the four hour high heat. I'm just gonna try to gauge it and see. I'm hoping, my hope is that these are done, you know, this evening when my husband gets home from work. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my onion. This is half of a chopped white onion and a trick that I use I put this in the refrigerator and or the freezer um, and then when you chop it it doesn't make you cry so um, I've tried everything a candlestick all that jazz and that's the only thing that works for me but a lot of the time if I don't use all my onion I stick it back in the fridge and yeah then that way it doesn't yeah no so there we go there's that and then I'm just gonna um, spice this up. So, real for my quick. seasoning, I'm gonna use some uh, pink Himalayan sea salt. I always say pink Himalayan sea salt, but pink Himalayan salt. Pink Himalayan salt, a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper. Sorry, a little bit of cayenne pepper. Okay, you can stand right there. A little bit of Italian seasoning, black pepper. Black pepper. Black pepper garlic powder a little bit of a what is this chili powder perhaps i don't know quite yet and i might use some cumin just a little dab so i want to season this before i add my water seasoned um, it looked like I put a lot of salt in it but uh, you know I got a lot of beans to season I got a lot of yeah it looked like I put a lot of salt in I don't know because you gotta get it and so I'm just gonna mix in my seasoning a little bit and then I am gonna go ahead and add in my chicken and I'm using uh, tenders, chicken breast, chicken breast tenders. So let's see. No, oh, baby, because I don't want you to get this. Is chicken's not safe? Uh, let's see. That's four. We'll do we'll do five chicken tenders to start out with. Let's see. So then I'm just going to take 
um, my water and just pour it in and cover the beans. So I think that should be enough. We'll do just a titch more just to be safe. Because towards the end, if it's too watery, I am going to take the lid off and let the juice evaporate. So, yeah. So that's what we got so far, what we're working with. And you know what? Because I added my chicken, I'm just going to do a splash of this Montreal chicken seasoning. Just a splash. There we go. Alright. So there we go. I'm going to let this cover this and let this cook for a couple hours. And we'll see you in a couple hours. Okay. Let's make uh, some. Okay, so this is about three hours in. And I'm just stirring it a little bit to see what it's looking like. Because I was curious. Not that you have to. Because I am going to leave this, like I said, on all day. So yeah, this is what it looks like so far. The beans are still kind of hard, but they're starting to smell really fragrant and nice. Alright, so this is how it's working so far. I don't know if it happened when I was cleaning, but it accidentally got knocked down to low heat. So I'm going to let the top off of it for a while and let it thicken up. But the beans are nice and soft, which just needs to be thicker. So I'm just going to the lid off like this so it don't splash out or anything all right so this is the finished product this is how my beans turned out i just chop top them with uh, mexican cheese i always say it wrong it's like cotija cheese <laughs> see even janessa is making fun of me um i got some spinach on top tomatoes and we ate them with tortillas and it's so good i'll see you guys in the next one a uh, thumbs up subscribe let me know if you try these okay silly girl we'll see you in the next one Yay!